We saw our boy parts. <laughs> Let me get our recording going. This is a little boy parts poking out already, right there. A little bottom up in the air. He's not shy. Right there, leg there. Yep. Nope. He's not. He wants y'all to know he didn't change. Nothing fell off. Mm -hmm. Right there. You see it? Mm -hmm. Right there. I'll get that one for you. Did he give us some pretty obvious shots last time? He did. So see, he's just he wanted you to know all along. So a little bit of his face peeking in back there. It's a little bit of the face back here. Little arms up. Arms up. Heart beating. It's a belly. Maybe he'll give us some more 40s today too. Face got that little hand out in the way. Again, a little bit of a hand right there. You can see extremities up there too. Legs. No, just hands. There's feet. There's a foot. Another foot. Over here. Two feet. Down there. Or up here, rather. His feet are up, head down. There's a little face again. I'm going to go ahead and get all of our measurements here. This is the top of his head. So have you got us a name since I last saw you? His name's Hudson. Mr. Hudson. I got it figured out. All right. Yep. Here's the very top of his head. All this looks very nice. That's the brain you see inside. Top of the head here, side to side. Back of the head to the front. All around. So I'll match up. I'm going to measure some of the brain structures. This one's called the lateral ventricles up high in the brain. We want to make sure the ventricles uh, don't have too much fluid in the space here. It's a normal little measurement. We measure a structure in the back of the brain called cerebellum. Cerebellum right here. That controls coordination and balance. And I really am just looking at the shape of it, making sure the space behind it isn't dilated with too much fluid as well. So both of those look normal. Space behind it. Looks good. Make sure there's the thickness of the skin, not too thick. All good. It's very nice brain structures. So they make my way to baby's belly. That thing is so weird. There's the heart beating. This is around baby's belly right here. Cross section of the leg. Here's the stomach. This is a portal vessel. Spine structures. All belly. Let me see if I can get baby to turn. See how we're in there at an angle? Kind of throws off my measurements a little. baby's upper arm bone, the humerus. There. Now I need a leg bone. This is the baby's femur. Thigh. Arms and legs measure a couple days longer. Oh wow. <laughs> Our other one always measured little. We have short legs. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's just what we're measuring today. The real one after around 30 weeks will let us know if we're yeah. measuring a little bit longer. Shorter. Not really length, but it'll, we can measure the arms and legs and see if they're matching up. Our spine all the way down. Do the spine. You see where it tapers at the very end. Pretty spine. I like to get the C spine a little better. There we go. See, I had to wait for me to turn that head out of there. Get this all connected back there. That's better. Okay. And then I can see baby's beautiful aorta. The aorta is the largest artery in the body. A little black line back here.
all the organs that we need. I see the stomach really well. I see the heart really well. Diaphragm is this little black line coming down here, kind of curving. Separates heart from stomach, upper cavity from the lower. It's better. A little bit more clear there, a little black line right there. Stomach. So we changed our belly. Remember how we were up over there? Mm -hmm. Turn around there. Stomach there. Can I see the two kidneys coming in? There's a kidney here. Another kidney here. Spine down the middle. Make my little baby's bladder. I'm glad you can see all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> cord right here. So we'll come back to that. I need to wait for the bladder to fill. Let's go see the boy parts down there. I need his heart. Looks like he turned the blue. I'd like to make sure there's four chambers in the heart. I kind of need him to turn a little bit in there. So we can get it better. Grab a heart and be a bottle of feet. We're in a whole different position than we were in a minute ago. Let's see a little face back there. The little hands up there by yeah. the face. A little contraction back here. You have those little Braxton Hicks. Yeah, I have. Little tightness and pressure. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're drinking lots and lots of fluids. If you're any bit dehydrated, it'll bring on more of those than we want. There's a little face again. It'll ease up here. You did the 40 package. Just a little bit of this. See the little arm up by the profile? Yes. A little hand coming in. Looks like our other little fist, thumb, uh -huh. another hand, a little knee, a little belly, a little shoulder, a little bit of the eye, a little bit of the nose and the mouth coming in back there. Well, it looks a little bit more like a human every time. Yeah, they start <laughs> filling in each time a little better. We move the around so I'm going to get that a little better. This isn't hair, can't see hair in 4D, it's just that you have to scan through it, like the placenta and uterus and all mm -hmm. that. So I'm going to scan through it, scan through him, so. See fingers, just see fingers. Mm -hmm. See them coming in a little bit, kind of cutting across that one. Cut across that whole hand. Look at those rib bones. Yep, little ribs. Showing off his muscles there. <laughs> yep, little ribs. See, all bones all the way through them. See his arm bone, too. See the little arm bone? Mm hmm. So you see two bones in his little arm, femur, rib bones, scapula. Yep, there are bones in the skin right now. cleft lip. So far nose and lips look good. We're going to see them a little bit better later on. So far they look normal. They're just peeking in back here between these two little yeah. arms. You can see nostrils, top lip and bottom. 
so far you look normal. But He's staying okay. hidden back in there. He is. Yeah, I see a little fist. It's his favorite spot to snuggle up to. That's what he did last time. Here's your contraction that he snuggled up on one side. Sit this behind him. So he's got a pillow behind him and snuggly thing in front. Of him. Both hands up there. You can make out fingers every once in a while when they kind of open them up. Fine, but good for diagram. All right, well, things look great. I'm gonna get pictures of your placenta. I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna get everything charted. Do you mind if I let Flora practice getting the exact same? Oh, picture? no, that's fine. Just a little bit more time to look at baby. Yeah. Yeah, your placenta looks fine. All on that front wall, it's not too low for a vaginal, so that's good. 